Welcome friends to a little yoga for witches at this time of Lamas, the beautiful golden harvest, the ripening of summer. So a beautiful time to celebrate abundance and warmth and opening our hearts to gratitude. Here I am in the studio. I'm doing a voice over instead of talking to the camera today. We'll see. We'll see how we get on with this. <laughs> so I'm just pointing to those cushions. If you want cushions or blankets, feel free to gather them. Take a little wiggle, roll the shoulders or roll the neck if you wish. Just taking our time to settle and I'll invite you to close the eyes as we just settle into what may well be quite a warm day as we move through July and August in the Northern Hemisphere. We are in high summer. If you are in the Southern Hemisphere, this festival for you is Imbolc or Candlemas, which is in beautiful opposite of Lammas. Imbolc is the very beginning of the growth season, the very first shoots of spring. And now Lammas, we come over to the harvest. And however we celebrate this special time of the season, it's just a lovely chance to practice some yoga, to breathe and to connect to a little sacred time. To honour and to note the season, to feel our gratitude and in this moment just to breathe and to be in this space in this time, this precious moment. And we'll just take a moment to breathe with this idea. And just when you feel ready, you might want to open the eyes gently in our easeful seated position. From here, we can just have a stretch through the body. So we'll interlink the hands, we'll reach the arms high. We'll just reach tall for a moment, have a little movement here, if you like. A little easeful movement, a little intuitive wiggle. You can wiggle those hands and wrists as well. And then from our seated position, we'll move to all fours. So a tabletop or four point kneeling. And with the breath, we're going to flex the spine. So with each exhale, we're flexing the spine outwards. And each inhale, we're flexing the spine inwards. But we're moving at the pace of our own breath, so you don't have to synchronise with me or anyone else. We're just finding a little rhythm to move. The beautiful rhythm of the breath.
So from here, we'll bring the spine back to neutral. So we're just coming back to the tabletop and we're gonna do a little moving twist here. So we're gonna take the right hand and we're gonna reach it high to the sky, reaching tall for a moment. The gaze can follow if you like. And then what we'll do is we'll sweep the arm underneath the armpit to that twisted puppy dog, but we're gonna do a little dynamic movement. So we're gonna reach up high once more. You can bring the breath in if you like. And once again, we're going to sweep the hand underneath, reaching as if reaching underneath the armpit and beyond. Let's do this twice more. So we'll reach up high, rotating through the body, through our center, and then sweeping the hand, just kind of skimming the shoulder or kissing the shoulder to the earth for just a moment before rising up once more. And then what we'll do this time as we sweep that hand under the armpit once more, now we're going to rest. So we'll rest the shoulder and the side of the head upon the earth. And if you like, you can reach the left hand to the top of the mat. So you're looking underneath the armpit and we're creating this twist through the torso, through the space of the upper back. We'll just take a breath or two here. And then we're going to reach to the sky one final time. So we'll gently unravel, we'll reach that right hand skywards. And then we can bring it back to the earth. And then we're gonna do exactly the same on the other side. So it's the left hand this time, we reach up. We sweep the hand and gently kiss the earth with the shoulder. We rise up, reaching high. There's no rush, you can come slowly as you like. We're taking a sweep. Reaching high. And then once again, as we reach this time, last one for now. <laughs> last one as we reach high and then sweep. The shoulder's going to lay upon the earth, so we're going to settle in for a few breaths. Again, we can reach that top hand, the left hand this time, so we're looking under the armpit. To create that lovely rotation through the upper back. And now just one more time, we'll push into the earth, we'll reach the arm high to the sky, a final reach tall. And then from here as you bring the hands back to the earth, this is where we can set the bum back onto the heels and come into child's pose. I've come to nice wide knees, you can have the knees wide or narrow, whatever you prefer. We'll rest the head upon the earth and Take a peaceful moment to breathe and settle. So we're going to gently move from our child's pose, a lovely open-hearted pose, 
So another heart opening pose, but here we'll open the hips as well. So bringing the hips and knees and ankles in line, we're going to open through the hips and we're going to come into that cobra pose. You can have a little softness in the elbows. I'm taking a little wiggle. Feel free to bring a little movement if you wish and just find a breath. So we won't stay here too long. ready we'll set the hips high we're going to come into puppy dog so similar to child's pose but see the hips are lifted towards the sky heart shining towards the earth and we'll take a few easeful breaths here And then from the puppy dog, as we come back to all fours once more, we're going to come into the lizard pose here. So what we'll do is we'll bring the sole of the right foot and bring it just outside of the right hand. You can have the toes pointing away a little just to give yourself space to have the shoulders and not feel too cramped. And again, I'm taking a wiggle here just to show that you can move, you can find your place, you can stay on the hands, you can come onto forearms. If this pose is new to you, you might want to come on to blocks or a bolster if that just helps you find a, a middle ground, perhaps. As always, there's no pressure, there's no rush to see where you are with this pose today. And as we gently lift the heart, we'll swap sides, taking our lizard pose with the left foot again. You can have a little wiggle around, you can come onto forearms, you can stay on the hands, whatever you like. A few easeful breaths and find your place. A lot of our poses around opening of hips and heart today, perfect for letting in the Lammas sunshine. From here, let's sit back on our heels, or you can kneel high if that's more comfortable for you. Now we're going to interlink the hands once more, this time behind the back, and just create an open through the heart, and maybe the gaze shines skywards. A little heart opening pose for a breath or two. When you're ready, again, a little swirl of the arms, the shoulders. You can interlink the hands above the head for a moment for a reach high. And 
as we release the hands, we're going to come to the earth. We're going to have soft knees, soles of the feet on the ground, so you can take your time to settle and let the arms fall wide. And then from here, our little supine twist. So we'll let the knees fall over to the right and the gaze will go over to the left. And we're settling into the passive pose for a few breaths, a few moments. Whenever you feel ready, we can journey to the other side. So knees to left, gaze to right. And then from here, as knees and gaze come up to the sky, we'll bring the soles of the feet together. We'll let the knees fall out either side like a butterfly. And then we'll mirror the shape of the legs with the arms. So we'll take the hands of the head and let the elbows fall out. From here, again, this openness for the hips and the heart. A place to let go, to ground. Maybe to feel the warmth and light of the day or the season. And just a chance to breathe. When you feel ready, what we'll do is we'll gently bring the knees back together. We're going to have a long stretch through the body, so we're just going to extend out long, have a stretch, have a wiggle, and we will prepare for our Shavasana, our relaxation and meditation time. Take as long as you need to settle and relax into the earth. Just close the eyes and feel supported. Here at Lamas Tide is a time to harvest what we have sown over the summer months to bask in the sun, to bask in the warmth. To be in gratitude for bright and fruitful harvests of fruit and vegetables. And to see the beauty of golden fields, of ripe fruit trees, and of abundance in nature. And as we settle here for a few peaceful minutes, you may envisage any of the joys of nature that you hold most dear in this season. Or simply see this time as a moment to pause, to be held gently in the magic of the season, and to take a moment to be within this place.
Let us perhaps take a nice deep inhale and sigh and exhale. Take any movement or stretch or wiggle that you wish as we bring our awareness ever so gently back to the room. From our place upon the earth, take your time. You might want to bend the knees and roll onto one side in that little yogi recovery pose, or simply rise to an easeful seat in any way that is restful for you. Taking a moment to let our roots settle into the earth and our spine to grow tall as we sit, tall and regal. And with that beautiful abundant breath, let's bring our practice to a close with three big sweeps with the arms. We'll take a nice inhale, sweep the arms high, palms together, and exhale, hands to heart center. We'll do that twice more. We'll inhale to rise, and exhale to heart. Inhale to rise, and exhale to heart. Here we can gently open the eyes and to ourselves and each other we say Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. I wish you a light, bright and joyful Lammas with all the blessings of the season. Thank you and Namaste.